Using NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope, we've looked at many nearby stars to look for orbiting dust and asteroids and comets, orbiting debris left over from the process of planet formation. We saw something very unusual that we hadn't seen around any other star. We saw evidence for a massive collision. When the two objects collide, everything happens very quickly. In the animation, things have been slowed down to allow you to see the impacting shock wave propagate across the surface of this devastated planet. Starting from the point of impact and circulating to the backside, causing uh, waves on the surface, the entire planet becomes molten. Meanwhile, tremendous amounts of material are ejected from the planet, both outside of the system and some falls back onto the system itself. Depending on the details of the collision, whether it's a high impact or depending on the angle that the objects hit each other at, there, there may be a growth or there may be a grinding away. So sometimes the planet actually ends up smaller after the collision, but generally the planet grows to larger and larger until there's no more material left in the system for it to grow from. While collisions like this are rare, we don't see this large event in any other systems we've looked at with the Spitzer Space Telescope. Collisions like this have happened in our own solar system. So there was a large collision that formed our own moon early on as our planets formed. Similarly, there were collisions like this that stripped the mantle off of the planet Mercury, and maybe another similar large collision tilted Uranus onto its side. Events like this, events that we see around this other star, and events that formed our own moon typically only occur very early in the, in the age of a system.